Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Board Otter Studio. Uh, today I am going to start off by apologizing for the last episode of Drawing for Newbies. Uh, quite frankly, I wasn't happy happy with it. If you did understand something something about it, I quite I will quite frankly be quite surprised because I didn't while while I was editing editing it. Seriously, I was stumbling, I was mumbling, and quite, and to be honest, I needed to text myself in order to understand what what the bloody hell even I was saying. So um, I will try try not to do that this time. And also one thing I needed to stop to, to stop to stop doing doing it was touching my beard all the damn high, even though I only grew a beard just to be able to do this. Anyway, uh, something else I didn't really explain last time was the concept of four-point perspective. Uh, what four-point four what four-point perspective means is when you look at something when it's both above and underneath the the horizon line. Uh, to really uh, to really view this accurately, you need to have four points. I mean, meaning what well, the two points on the horizon on the horizon line and one above and one underneath it. And well, the only place where ha why ha the only place where I ever have seen this is in the backdrop of old animated movies, in in which they are panning the camera across a a, a very a tall building, or something similar. Uh, so I don't I don't I don't think you you will ever use this yourself anywhere. But uh, if you if you like, here's how how you do one, and uh, you you can do, go crazy with it with it if you like. Uh, anyway, uh, some, something else I uh, did do a little cock up on last time was to say that I would let, let you vote on what I would do, do today. Uh, unfortunately, I lied, a little, I lied a little bit because I realized there's a lot more to just putting lines on a piece of paper than the, than just these two two videos. And for me to really go on and just uh, do, do some kind of design project without you know knowing what the bloody hell I'm doing. Will just be pointless. So, um, it, so today I will uh, continue to explain more about perspective and how to uh, and how to use perspective when, when you are drawing or illustrating something. Uh, and we will start off by a warm up. Now, uh, something uh, I also sh should be explaining about perspective is uh, the correlation between uh, the distance between your convergent points and the lens you are, lo you are using, not the one you're losing. Uh, uh, what, what this means, well... Uh... Oh yeah there, come in. Excuse me. Cats wanting dinner. Well, uh, anyway, what, what was I saying? Uh, yes. The correlation between the convergent points and and uh, the lenses. Well, um, th and a very simple way of th thinking of this is: the closer you have your convergent points, uh, the the shorter the lens will be. Uh, meaning, if you put put your your if you put your convergent points very very close to each other, then you'll have so something more similar to a thirty millimeter or sixty millimeter lens. However, if you um, take them more further, further apart, even take them off the page, you you will have something closer to a hundred or two hundred millimeter, and depending on on the kind of image you, you'd like, you uh, you really need need to know about this. Uh, something close up with n not too much distortion and not not uh, and just sh showing um, showing off the form of something, you need to have a long lens. Uh, meaning 200 millimeter or something, and for 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 instance, landscape or a, um, uh, a architectural drawing, you'd like to ha have something more uh, more of a uh, shorter lens, such, such as a 18 or 16 mil millimeter. Although 16 mil millimeter may just be a little bit pu uh, pushing it because that's turning into fish eye. And if you are try trying to just uh, if you're trying to get something in in intermediate, such as um, well, I don't know, a large object, maybe a good shelf or just a bit big lamp, you like like to have something intermediate like uh, 50 or 18 millimeters. Uh, so that, that's very good, good to know. The next thing we're, we're going to do, do today uh, is we are going to take a side view 
or, or top view or front view of something and then turn it into a perspective. You will see in a bit what, what we'll do. For this exercise, I'm going to start, start my camera here. Yes, for this exercise, you are going to use a pen as usual. And for this time, you can use just a, no, a normal pen, you don't, a pencil. You don't have to use a ballpoint pen like this. Uh, because we are, we are going to be training pers a real perspective now, not uh, not training our hands that much. A pen and a deck, also a ruler and a ruler and also some circle guides and oval guides. Uh, what I say say uh, oval guides? Well, uh, you've seen the circle guides before. They are just uh, cir circles uh, that uh, round circles are everywhere. Oval guides. Well. They're exactly what what they are ovals or ellipses I should say they are called they are called ellipse guides if you, if you search for oval guides you won't get anything search for ellipse guides and uh, unfortunately these are a bit expensive these days I think this is about six US dollars or something which is horribly much and also if when you are bu buying your oval guides buy something like this where the minor axis a minor, minor axis and the major axis are marked. Uh, no, I don't buy this one, which not, doesn't have, have any markings on, on, the, on it at all. You will see in a bit what I, what I mean, why, why I should use this, and why I should use this instead of this. I need to fix my setup. I have two lights here, here that just keep on banging to each other. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Uh, what you're going to do now is you are going to paint something in... Uh, paint draw something in a side view and uh, don't, don't care what uh, uh, it doesn't care matter what view you, you do front right top or bottom it doesn't ma matter however uh, if you like to do this accurately uh, and just follow along with me uh, do, do do it in side view um, uh, me however, uh, however I am just going to make uh, I don't know maybe maybe just a small airplane or something. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to divide this uh, and this little air, uh, airplane or whatever you have drawn into squares. Uh, there's, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, for, uh, what the method I like to use is, is this: you first make a couple of lines uh, beneath and uh, and above the the drawing, and then we make a vertical line here. Yes, in front of the plane, and then and there's a couple of methods. Methods you <laughs> there's a couple of methods you can use. For instance, you can measure this out, and just yes, make, make another another uh, another point there and make make another vertical line. Or you can do use this method. Take a circle guide, find a circle that is just about equal in size to what you have drawn. Make a circle there, and then you can make a straight line from there. Uh, try to make make as straight and parallel as possible. Uh, something we're also go going to do here: we are going to make this and uh, turn this into a cross. Um, find the middle here. Uh, this may not be be impor important afterwards. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll like to make, make the, these lines here. Uh, you you may f find it simpler to just leave them out. Um, uh, but anyway, um, ne ne next here we're going to divide th this thing into equal sized squares, as I said. And there's a, uh, an, a few methods you can do there as well. You can do the first method, just measuring it out. You can use the the cir circles here, and yeah, just ma make more circles until until you, you uh, until it engulfs the whole shape. Or you can do, use this method. Uh, by the way, I'm going to switch pen just for demonstration purposes, so you can see properly. Uh, I'm going to switch over to blue. Yeah, let's see. The the next method here uh, I'm showing you, and uh, this is the method we are also going to use when we are moving over to sp perspective. Actually, ah. Uh, that, that wasn't too, too good. Let's see. Uh, ah, red. That will probably be, be fine. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just gonna demonstrate this one here. Just, just to show you. So, so what I did there, I, I do, I do it again. Uh, what, what I did here is that I f first find the mi middle uh, of the um, <clears throat> of, of the li line here, and then I, t I took the ruler, or you could do do this freehand if you're skilled enough. <clears throat> if you are skilled enough, I oh, need more tea. Uh, and then you would make a line from this p corner here down to this line here using your ruler. Tada! And then you have a mar marking there, and that is, if you have done this correctly, a per perfectly good, uh, and then uh, a perfectly. <coughs> What should I say? This this should should now be, tu be turning into equal sized squares if you have done this correctly. Uh, we we can ch check this by by taking our circle guide again again for instance, uh, checking with the circles and see uh, oh, are they connected properly? No, it doesn't. Right here. Uh, why isn't it? Well, it's maybe because it's maybe because I have made made lines not uh, not properly aligned. You can see here, and uh, they're not really pa parallel here. So what I should do here is just uh, you, uh, try try to make make them as pa parallel as possible. See a little bit forward. See, did that work? Oh yes, that worked. Try try to be as accurate as, as possible with your la lines. Uh, it's the only thing only say, thing I can say here. Uh, anyway, uh, let's continue f and fill this form up with squares. Okay, you, you, can, you can see what ha happens when you haven't be, be, been accurate enough and haven't made your lines properly. Uh, I'm going to re redo this just to, just to, be, just to be, be, be sure you you will uh, just to be sure I get this right, get this one right. And let's see, yes, turn the pa paper over and do this, do it again. Right. Uh, now, uh, well, uh, as you could see, I really took took my time and really measure out where, where everything should go. Uh, what we're go going to do now is uh, we are going to tr uh, to make our perspective. Uh, now, now you can uh, either you can uh, uh, make your your horizon line first if if you really like. Uh, but I like like to leave it leave, leave it out for this one. Um, uh, just because I don't ha have that much paper to to really draw on, um, and also now we're going to jump in, uh, into something a bit more complicated when it comes to circles and ovals, because we're going to take this circle and turn it into a perspective, and that is why we're going to use our oval guide, oval guides, uh, because as we could could see um, uh, in our last our last video if I explain it good enough, is that if we turn a circle around, it will turn into an oval. Uh, e even if you t turn it up, up uh, if you even, even if you twist it up or down like this, or, or side to side, it will always turn into an oval. How to draw, draw this, it may be a bit complicated at first, but uh, you, you will get, get it soon enough. These points here, here, they're going to be drawn into this 
conversion point there. And uh, on the x-axis, me meaning the depth of, of, of this thing, is going to be drawn to the conversion point here. And how would we like to do this? What we're going to do first, we're going to make our depth line here first. And why, you'll, you shall see very soon. Uh, let's see, I'm going, just going to use this to demo, demo, demonstrate at first. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to take an old guide with, a, with uh, your um, major and minor axis uh, axes, uh, marked, and you're going to line up to your ma minor axis on the line here, and then draw, draw your oval. Um, an, an oval in perspective, uh, the depth side should always be uh, at a 90 degree ang angle with uh, the major axis, meaning this is supposed to be not at the 90 degrees. And then from here, you can make your uh, convergent lines here and here. Tangent, meaning touching the po points down here on your oval. We're going to make them a little longer for, just for this demonstration. And then we are going to make our parallel li lines here. And that is what is uh, how you get, get a good good uh, a good uh, circle or oval I in perspective. However, as you can see here, this isn't really accurate. This uh, as, instead of should have used a a little bit bigger oval on the on this one. It it isn't re really um, it isn't really this skewed. Uh, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, th this will be good enough. So uh, with si something a little bit bigger. Like such as as this one, we are going to start off again by making our oval using our, our minor axes that aren't marked. <laughs> uh, something else I should explain before I continue is uh, the oval guides themselves. As you can see here, it says seventy degrees. Uh, what that that means? Well, I think uh, what I do think it means is if we have uh, our oval guide here, or uh, for instance, if we have a circle guide, that, that, that is better to, to uh, describe this with. If you have it here, and if you're tilting this straight up on the paper, me meaning we are representing it with this line here. And then we make a, a 90 degree parallel line, not parallel. Uh, what are, what, what's it called? <laughs> perpendicular line, that's, that's the word, perpendicular line, meaning 90 degree angle from there to, uh, to our, our circle guide, and then we mark out our horizon line. Um, what what, ha what ha ha happens is, when, you, you, when, you're, t <clears throat> when you're placing it like, like, uh, like, like this, and, and describing it like this, with our circle guide, you can say that this is a 90 degree oval. When it's a when it's perfectly perfectly symmetric, ninety degrees. But if we start tilting this thing around a little bit like this, we start to get get the oval, oval shape as as you could see see before. And if you are t tilting it, I, I should say ninety degrees from here. If you are t tilting it until it's until it says seventy degrees, seventy. Degrees. I should use another pen just to demonstrate. If it, it's still ninety degrees there, but down here, we some we so, we suddenly have seventy uh, seventy degrees, uh, and now we suddenly have a oval shape. So that that's uh, how I think you are. Ca ca you can you you can calculate uh, uh, how uh, how this this thing is uh, marked. Uh, wh and um, wh why I think that is well, if you look at this a forty degree angle, uh, I, th I think that that's uh, exactly how do I how do I calculate it since this is a heck of a lot, a heck of a lot more skewed, meaning meaning it's tilted even more. All right. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Uh, let's continue on this page here. Right. 
Uh, what we're going to do now? I really need to clean up here. Uh, what we're going, what we're going to do now? We are going to uh, to make our cross here on the middle. We are going to use a good ruler instead. Uh, we are going to make our cross here to find a middle, our middle. Uh, why it is? Well, uh, now you can't actually measure uh, how how these squares squares are going to turn out. Uh, uh, on the uh, on the continuing on, of the sur surface on on uh, converging to this point here, you actually need to use this, the method I uh, showed you here. You need to be ta taking this, make another line to our conversion point through our middle. And then do as before. Take our uh, ruler. Make a line from this corner here through the middle down to this line, and now we can we have suddenly measured out how these squares have bec have turned out in perspective, and we are going to do this until we have all squares counted. Now we can actually start drawing. Um, how to now we we are going to transfer this image onto this plane here, and as you can see, it looks exactly um, uh, as uh, the the squares and the, and the and the circle here. Uh, it is it has just turned into a perspective. Uh, let's see. I am going to make a little extra line here. As to mark the ending of the tail fin here, and I'm going to switch pen just to just for uh, uh, demonstration purposes. Uh, what, what what we're going to mark out first? Uh, this this isn't really critical. I'm just going, going to do, I'm going to do it. We are going to mark out this point here and this point point right there, and that is a point that is stopping a little bit before this line. And there, so we're going to, to count, count our squares one, two, three. Going to count them one, two, three, and here we're going to mark once again just a little bit before the corner there, and then we can make a straight line between them. Ta -da. Now things get a little bit more complicated. Uh, for what we are going to do, we are going to try. We're going to try try and make, make our curve curve first of all, all here, and uh, we are going to see where does this intersect with our red lines, and we and they are going to intersect at the same point with our red lines here uh, on our perspective grid. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, one point starting there first. Then we have one point there, which is uh, kind of about there. Another point there, which is uh, let's see, two two thirds, two thirds in, two thirds uh, the distance from here, and it's uh, right around about there, uh, a little bit more maybe there, and then we have have another one there, meaning that that point there, and uh, that's a little bit closer to, closer down. And then we have one that's just about on the middle, on that, I'll say, on the plane there. And then this one is somewhere at this point here. I'm gonna mark out my points just yes, yes, so you can see. This one, this point here, is intersecting the, this line here somewhere. Uh, let's see, around, around about there. And then we ha have something that is tangent here a little bit uh, with the uh, uh, upper um, with the upper line and ta tangent until it gets over there. And you can see see here also, it's uh, it's ta tangent there. Now we have a lot of points marked out, and now we just make a line between them. Ta-da! Uh, this may, may be a little bit uh, inaccurate for for you, and uh, uh, quite frankly, I haven't tra trained this me me method that, that much. I usually just eyeball things the 
these days. So this is actually a little bit compli complicated for me, for me as well. But uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm trying to be uh, do trying to do this as properly as possible. Uh, let's see now. Uh, what we're going to do next? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's try. Let's try out this po point right right there. I try try mark mark that, that one out, and that's just about. Uh, let's see. And it's about uh, two. And that's about a qu qu uh, qu quarter from the outer edge there. But one fourth. And uh, let's see. We are going to take in this square, which is this one here. Take it. And that's that's the middle. That's just about a quarter. And go up a little bit above our uh, measurement line there. And if I, and see, just about there is where it's con connecting. And I don't don't need need to make that that many po points here. It's a very simple curve. So I'm just going to make a a line there. Right. And also here we we can we can see that it's a. <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, Houston. I'm about to get get a cold. Uh, as you can see here. And this co this uh, rounded off co corner here uh, on the ta tail fin, it's start it's uh, go going out a, li a little bit more than being exactly un underneath our lo line here. So uh, we can ta take that measurement, go out a little bit more, and then go down to just about what is that? A little bit above half. That's half. That's li a little bit in, and that's. The point we're going to draw, draw towards soon, and at the same place uh, here we can actually use uh, the, our perspective uh, conversion point here. Make a line there, and then we can me measure here. Uh, it's in intersecting there, which is uh, actually almost all on the sa same spot as the as as there. And and then we can take this and just con connect them, connect lines. Let's see how. Unfortunately, I lost a little bit of the recording from my camera here, but uh, I think you can, uh, you've, you've followed along uh, uh, pretty, pretty well enough to realize that it's just a uh, just a matter of uh, uh, seeing where the the point uh, where the connecting points uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the original on the on the original drawing is and then trying to transfer them onto the paper uh, in perspective. Uh, now, uh, so, something you may may be asking yourself, but uh, this is good good for what for one view. What about another? Well, we're go going to do, do this again. We're going to make a little uh, si side view of this plane. We're going to do is we are going to remake our bo boxes here, but uh, for uh, this time around, we really need, need to uh, really need, need to match the uh, the uh, squares or boxes or whatever the bloody hell you like to call call them, uh, and to re and uh, ma match them to this uh, uh, draw drawing here. Uh, so, for instance, uh, by the way, I I just ma made ha half a pl plane here, ju just for de demonstration pur purposes. You may may want to do uh, both si both sides if you are are doing something uh, a bit un unsymmet uh, uh, unsymmetrical. Uh, what you're going to do now, uh, you you are going to uh, t test out a little th theorem theory of mine. Uh, you are going to measure out your uh, the length of, of your object, which in our case. Or it's, at least my case is around about uh, 17.5, 17.4 centimeters, and then we are going, and then we are going to count our units. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, five, and 
yeah, this isn't really six units. It's almost six, uh, it's almost five and two two thirds. And two thirds, that's um, in math mathematical decimal terms, that is al always uh, 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 0.67. So uh, this object is more or less 5.67 units long. Units long. So, uh, what, uh, how, how does this co correlate to, to this object here? Well, uh, first of all, we're going to start by measuring our, our object. It's it's about 11.5 uh, or so, something. Uh, try to be as accurate w with this uh, uh, as possible. You will get, get the best result, result from it. And why I say you, you, we're going to try out the uh, the, the uh, measurement here? Well, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to try, try it out by saying, and taking 17, I'm going to make it so you can see it, 17.5 divided by 5.67, and and that will be 3.08 centimeters, 08 centimeters, which is more or less correct. It's this is this is going off on. on Three centimeters exactly, but there are uh, s since I uh, this bit, it's quite hard to, to make this really ac accurately. So a few decimals here and there will won't do, uh, do you too too much damage. But uh, here we're going going to do, do the same. We're going to take uh, take this airplane. We're going to take take uh, instead of seventeen point five. We're going to take eleven point five divided in, into uh, five. Point six seven, and what do we get? O point o two o two centimeters, o three oh, oh, really. But uh, as I said, a few decimals uh, here and there, especially on on the uh, hundred ta time des uh, decimal scale here, isn't isn't won't do do you too uh, too, too much damage. So this is all, almost equals to two centimeters. And what we're going to do now, we are going to take this, we are going to line it up, we are going to measure out every two centimeter, just about. And down here, down on the paper, can you see? No, you can't, because it's too damn low on the camera. And then we are going to make equal size boxes again. Uh, however, uh, this, this time around, uh, I, this is a, just a, a half object. It's a complete symm symmetrical. So if you flip this around, uh, you, you you will uh, uh, it it will be a complete object. But we are going to do what we did the first time. We're going to measure out uh, out there, uh, approximately tw twenty uh, millimeters. No, ten millimeters. It's a it's a tw it's a twenty mil millimeter cir a circle here. But it's only t this distance here. It's only ten millimeters. Uh, if so, just ha if you if so, just half the distance. And to get it right, and this time around, uh, we are going to me measure out the same distance using our circle guide uh, on the ta tail fin here, and just make a straight line between them. Between them. And then we can make our parallel lines. Yippee! <laughs> and then, uh, to uh, get get the w wing out, we are uh, meaning the, this part here. Uh, we are go going to make more squares. Yay! Make make them out just like that. Make them try to make them as parallel as possible. And again here. And then we are going to measure twenty millimeters or two centimeters uh, out on them to make really good, perfect squares. And we are going to measure uh, the same thing here to get them parallel. Right. Uh, let's see now. Oh. Uh, uh, we can leave that, that one for later. Remember what I t told you uh, here in uh, our beginning uh, example <laughs> that, uh, that I I've, I've unfortunately didn't, didn't do very well. But um, uh, re remember closely what I told you about the minor axis and the major axis. 
um, <clears throat> because uh, this will be very impor important here, because here we're going to make this blue cir circle down here. Now, uh, the, the, uh, what determines the angle of your oval guide or the oval you're going to use is the uh, depth axis, meaning this one, the first one we made. And it, and it's and it isn't the the plane plane axis that you will be drawing on, but the depth depth axis is. And for for the and for this plane plane here, the depth axis is a parallel one. Maybe I should use blue, blue for this one just to demonstrate. It is the par parallel ah uh, straight up and down down one here, and that is also the center of of our our uh, ovals that we are going to use. And let's extend it a little bit. Just to really know where it is, where we shall be drawing it. Now, um, something I, I did make, made a cock, cock, cock up on here uh, was the fact that I did, did use a, a little bit too too na narrow oval guide. I think I, I think I actually used this one. No, I didn't. I, didn't. I used this one. <laughs> anyway, um, for for this one, you, as you can see, this this. Um, on this plane, we are looking d down a onto a li little bit more, but uh, fr from our uh, our point of view, uh, uh, it is closer to the horizontal line, and if so, it makes the more, uh, the the circle or oval a bit more skewed. Um, and, th and this means we need to use an oval guide, such as this for 40 degrees uh, oval guide, to to make our oval. And what we're going to do, we are going to take our oval guide, we're going to pick a oval, which is this one here, that is t tangent with this point here, this point here, and then we're go going to place it here, and we're going to ma make it follow the minor axis here. Let's see. Ta -da 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 -da. And there we have this circle in perspective. Right. And now the, fo the following uh, the following steps are, are quite si simple. You just need need to wor work out the uh, ne the next coming uh, lines here from your convergent point. Make make it to this point here, and continue doing this until you have yourself a good plane to work on. Awful. Our blue plane, yay! And we are going to do exactly the same thing here as we did with the first plane here. We are going to just look at our image, uh, see where uh, all the uh, um, uh, connection lo lines are, look, uh, and just work out where we should be draw drawing all our, all our lines.
reasons. Uh, I, I realized that this is more, uh, more than I mentioned than, than just the, uh, these two. I actually need to make another plane um, I, on the various pla places yeah, just to uh, get, get uh, all things co correct. Now, uh, I am doing this very, very slo sloppily here. Uh, just because... Because um, I don't want to sp spend more time time in this tutorial more, uh, more than necessary, uh, but um, I think I think you uh, got it now. Now this is um, uh, to ma ma make a lines to try to try to ma imagine where where they, they will end up and then to um, and then to just just draw them. Uh, also here, I can I can realize that this. Uh, uh, and this, uh, and this, um, I haven't really drawn drawn the these two, two views uh, per, uh, correctly because uh, th this shape here c couldn't re really exist. Instead, what, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to extend it inwards a little bit, and then uh, we can do something. I, uh, I will not be explaining explaining for. Uh, fully in this tutorial, I th I hope you are just going to get it. To be honest, um, uh, because it is going to take a bit more more time than I w would like it to have if I'm going to do uh, to make uh, all of these planes pro properly. But uh, as you can see now, we c we can pretty much uh, draw some uh, uh, other shapes here, and it will start. To explain our whole three-dimensional sh uh, shape that we wa want want to have after a while, so there's a line there, li line here maybe, line here maybe, and maybe a line there, there for instance, and make it cu curve around there because here we can make. Something that is three dimensional. <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, mark out the silhouette here, here a little bit more clear clearly so you can see. Ah, da, 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 but this is basically what you need 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 to do. In order to really accurately transfer a view, a side, side view or something similar, into a perspe perspective, um, and well, I'm not going to drag out this tutorial more than necessary. Uh, so I'm just going to leave leave you here, and hopefully you got actually got something out of this tutorial this time than the last one. Um, also, if if we would do this pro properly, this wi wing here, it, it would be on the other side here, but quite frankly, uh, I'm done for, for today. Uh, next time, yes, it will be a, a, a tutorial on shading, and I will also explain a little bit more of what lines can do for you. Uh, so, till next time, I will see you later. Bye!